What up, y'all? It has been way too long. We will just call this the second season of Unboxing with Buckshot. I'm sure you all can tell how much uh, more full the beard is now. I had like so many videos that were recorded in advance that I was editing and dropping and life just got so crazy that I didn't have time to shoot new videos, but I had shot so many in the past that I was able to still keep editing them and dropping them for you all until I shot my last video and, uh, I ran out of video, so here we are, we're back. We can call this season two, as you can see right here in the background. Just because you haven't seen any videos doesn't mean that I have not been acquiring toys. And as I said, I have been so busy that not even have I had the time to record the videos, I haven't even been able to open toys, which I've obviously been saving all these for you all for quite some time. I actually counted these when I moved them. They were originally right here, and I had to shift them back. There's over 140 boxes, all full of toys, and, uh, you know, we can just call that ammunition to fire with for the next set of videos. So we're just going to get right back to where we left off you know, probably do about 15 boxes per video. But hey, sorry I've been gone. I hope you all missed me because I missed you. And I've definitely missed opening up these toys. Toy collecting is my passion beside music. You know, it's almost like Christmas time. I've been sitting on these for months and not being able to open them. So I honestly have no idea what we're about to get into. Whereas before I remembered ordering things and like, oh yeah, yeah. And here it's, uh, it's all going to be like a crap shoot. It's just all the boxes are mixed up. So, hey, let's just get right into it and let's start. Here, got a beat up box by Hasbro Pulse. Let's hope whatever is inside is not beat up. We have a Transformers Perceptor. Which I will say, they should have shipped this in a bigger box because this here is not big enough. So they actually bent the top of this. So. Target.com. I'm actually shocked to see Target using some bubble wrap. And here, I bought two of the same toys because, you know, in the past, I try to get a couple of them. So if one comes beat up, I've got another one for insurance. They actually both look like they're in pretty good shape. This is a Holocom collection. Star Wars, Bo-Katan Kreese. Really cool looking packaging. Hasbro Pulse. Looks like it's in good condition. Right here we have a G.I. Joe Steel Core Troopers. Pretty cool looking figures. Entertainment Earth. We have a Transformers Studio Series, I believe. No. Oh, yeah. It is a Studio Series. Ultra Magnus.
Box is in good shape. Back to Hasbro. I don't believe it. I do not like ordering Star Wars figures from Hasbro Pulse. At least not the old school looking ones. Because the packaging can come so easily damaged. But, uh... I had to order these off of Pulse because they were Hasbro Pulse exclusives. And these both came perfect. This is actually a very rare, sold out very quickly, Chewbacca. It's called a Life Day Chewbacca. It's pretty perfect. Both of them actually look good. So I definitely got lucky with that one. Some more Entertainment Earth here. Oh, wow. I forgot I ordered this. This was a... Uh, pre-order from a long time ago and here we have a star wars mandalorian in one starfighter it's got the same picture on both sides actually comes with a special mandalorian figure packaging is in great shape More Entertainment Earth. Wow. That big box and all that for one G.I. Joe classified figure. This was a pre-order. This is Ripper, who is one of the Cobra Dreadnoughts. Better come in uh, this good a shape with all that packaging material. It's a whole lot of box for one figure. Talk about being wasteful. <laughs> we have a Star Wars vintage collection. Tuscan Raider from the Book of Boba Fett series. Came perfect. Great shape. We have a Star Wars Mandalorian R5-D4. Great shape. Perfect card. Here we have a Black Series Holiday Edition Ewok. Back into my old ways and habits. <laughs> This is a second G.I. Joe Steel Core Troopers that I just opened up a few minutes ago. I do that from time to time. A lot of this stuff is hard to keep up with sometimes. You see it and you don't realize you'd already bought it. Here we have a G.I. Joe Classified Desert Commando Snake Eyes. Oh. 
this is pretty cool. This is a special Return of the Jedi. It's a four figure pack. Let me see how close I can get here so y'all can check those out. Here we have a Black Series Ahsoka. You know, beside that very first uh, Transformers that we opened, everything's been in really good shape. Probably shouldn't have said that yet. Wow. Strikes again. Just opened this a couple uh, boxes ago. There's always eBay, right? Well, this is interesting. This is a Transformers Beast Wars from Super 7. Something I forgot about. Cool looking packaging. Here we have a G.I. Joe classified snow job with a nice little dent on the inside of uh, side of the packaging there. It's a very strange looking box. Better not be no damn peanuts. That's what it looked like at first. Yep. <laughs> they got me. <laughs> They got me. I spoke too soon. And you know what's worse than peanuts? Pink peanuts. Oh, Fuck. You are just going to have to bear with me for a second. I'm dealing with a situation right now. This is ridiculous. Son of a bitch. These damn things almost take the joy out of it. But <sighs> re 
ridiculous. But this is really cool. A gentle giant version of Darth Maul. Camera's freaking out when it doesn't see my body. Really cool looking figure and packaging. Ridiculous. Here we have a Rogue One Director Krennic figure. It's in really good shape. Oh, I think I know what this is. Yeah. They package this thing up right. This was a HasLab, which is basically like a crowdfunded toy. It's a Transformers. Wow, this is really cool. This is a Transformers Deathosaurus. There's actually like foil, prism, hologram stuff. Really, really cool looking packaging. You can see the foil. Awesome. Well, I'm actually going to stick this back in here. That box is good enough looking to go inside of a shadow box. Well, I think that is a great stopping point today. I'm glad to be back. I hope you all had a good time today checking out some of these new toys being unboxed. I'm your host, Buckshot, and thank you for joining me with Unboxing with Buckshot, and uh, I will see you all in the next video. Peace!